there so that in the future, anyone can uh, potentially sign up and participate in these scrims. So expect it to see maybe Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday each week here. Now, uh, time to get into this game here as we do see that the start of round number two here, a lot of teams opting to drop out early as we see GeekFam uh, going very much towards the eastern side here. They do like to go to Campo Militar, so let's see how they deal uh, with that moving forward. Um, FFG opting to also go towards Cruz de Vale. We also have another team also moving there. Um, now, we do have uh, BN Power also moving to the left side over here. And uh, we do have uh, squad number one, Frostfire, also opting to drop out in the quite early stage here as they go towards El Azahar. Now, a lot of these drop positions is not necessarily straight away to the looting positions here as this is uh, competitive PUBG. You do want to try and secure those vehicles to help with the rotations, especially on a map like Miramar where there's a lot of open space and uh, a lot of ground to cover depending on where the circle goes. But it looks as though San Martin is a, such a huge hotspot at the moment as we do have a number of teams here it's squad number three team infinity squad number eight which is mbt and we also have squad 19 which is team quacker here now they are all occupying uh san martin now they are a little bit separated frosty is just, uh taking a little bit of damage i'm not sure if that is due to fall damage or tyler is getting a little bit in the action here now the circle has revealed itself it is very much in the north western part of the map here not too much of a hard shift so it is still quite okay for these teams to get over there no problem here now um there is some fire erupting here as we do see frosty sis and tyler going at it here and tyler managing to get the drop on frosty sis so he's going to be uh, the first person to die here so first kill also going to team mbt here and uh squad 16 6 gaming is quite close by as well as we do see young able to get a uh, a kill on one of the extents guys team number two here and uh demon eater are gonna have some uh good frags for breakfast over here uh, oh sorry it's young way young way with the kill so frostfire continues their looting phase as they move towards the northern barn complex here, area here and uh we do see that lost the illness does have squad 15 as well as msk poseidon here uh, and it looks as though Voidless able to get on the score sheet here. FFG actually losing one of their players to the water here. I can't help but feel that that was either a disconnect or an AFK situation. But unfortunate nonetheless for Power Rangers. So Voidless and Crescenia are going to be okay here on the western side. And uh, we do see here that FTY is opting to go for the Minas Generales and La Bandita areas. And uh, Team Crayon actually taking Impala. But Cruz de Vale, we also have two teams here. As we do see that Squad 14, uh, Power Ranger is here. Um, as together with... Uh, what's that? Lepa Mama. Uh, squad number 20. Now, actually, I do think that the, the player that drowned was because he was in the water. And he didn't want to give the kill away to um, Lemak Mama. In that situation and it looks as though that Rexon goes down here unfortunately for MBT as uh, they start trading more blows uh, with Infinity here. Now Zonggui, Zonggui DJ, um, I apologize if I can't pronounce everyone's names uh, properly guys I'll try my best but yes he takes some damage here as he starts maneuvering around the building uh, which currently is occupied by Nobby here and he goes down as Nobby able to get the vector knock on him and um, his team members are going to have to try and move as fast as they can here. Now, there is only 2 minutes and 35 seconds here. That might seem like a lot here, but a lot of these teams are far away from the zone at the moment here. So they are going to have to try occupy it. Not only that, you do want to occupy the central part here to try and offer the best of... Uh Test. Test, test.
and it looks as though um, Brennan able to knock down Rexen over here. So, uh, pretty okay position here. Okay, guys, sorry about uh, audio issues if you're just hearing this now, because uh, I think during the lobby session it wasn't uh, working so well. So, uh, So yeah, the lobby session, I think I just needed to change the setting later on at, once we uh, finish this game here. So I apologize for that. I will repeat what I said earlier on. So um, yeah, I did want to give uh, a few shout outs to those people who are supporting me. I really do appreciate it. Uh, I will read out the those who have given me some stars so far. So I, I really do appreciate the support, guys. Now, back to the game. We do see here that MBT is still up for people. Uh, in, and uh, Squad 3 Infinity is a, a little bit uh, trapped here at the moment as they're stuck in that multi-story. Now, we do see that here that uh, Extents is fighting with... Um, uh, fighting with Frostfire, and Frostfire unfortunately gets uh, completely wiped here in this situation. So Krustic able to come away with a four packs there. So he, excellent play from him as he is able to reap the spoils from that exchange here. And uh, now we do see that the teams are starting to think about their rotations. Mahdi is moving in a little bit here. Now, oh, it looks, looks as though that Jingu able to, to get a knock and a kill on Ye. So Ye is going out for Team 15 here. Now, uh, the others are trying to move around. Uh, JC Nobody and the rest of his team are deciding to bug out here as they do not want to face the rest of the players from MSK Poseidon here. Now, um, uh, looking at the Valle del Mar section here, now it looks as though that Power Rangers or Legendary Gaming... Um, what it might seem is moving out here and it looks as though there's a huge battle that took place uh, in San Martin as they tried to force the issue uh, Team MBT getting wiped out as they push up the multi-story to face against um, the members from Infinity so Infinity able to chalk up four kills there between Aaron and Brennan so Blue Circle is encroaching now the teams do have to start making their moves uh, we could be seeing uh, Team Crayon moving in St. Floyd acting as the, the lead scout here. FTY is still looting up a little bit. They are on the edge of the circle, so not in too much danger of actually being able to, to get in. So uh, now we do see in the central part of the circle, squad number six here. Um, not sure what the team name is here. It looks like uh, Kaki Langar to me. Um, but yeah, we do have them all currently occupying this compound here as they are... Uh, pretty close to 6 Gaming, 6 Gaming aware of their presence here and they're trying to put up some long range fire as they try to make things as difficult as possible for them. Now, it mostly it's going to be chip damage here at this stage as they're probably not going to be able to secure any kills until later on here. But as you get further into the game, there will be less chances for teams to actually uh, get get uh, adequate armor and everything and Zodiac actually goes down from headshot from Hunter's Crew's uh, car 98 here so uh, not that he could have done without here and Rain Zero also getting headshot by Hunter's Crew. Hunter's Crew on fire here with his car 98 acting as the lead sniper what it would seem for 6 Gaming here so 6 Gaming looking pretty good uh, and hopefully they can build on their uh, performance from the other game now they are looking to to do their push on the Kaki Langer guys I, I believe it's Kaki Langer, guys, uh, looking at who's playing. Uh, but yes, they are currently uh, trying to push up a little bit here. And uh, they are deciding to throw a nade in here. I'm Cold Blood throwing in some fire as well to for added measure here. Now, they are backing off a little bit as uh, they did start to deploy some nades themselves. And it looks as though that Quacker, Team Quacker has eliminated the rest, the last two players from... Uh, in Team Infinity in San Martin. So they go out in 18th position here. And that it was a little bit of a crowded zone, even given the size of San Martin here, as there can only be one, as Highlander fans would say. Now, they are still holed up in this compound. They don't want to force the issue too much and lose uh, one of their players here. Uh, Andy BG it has committed here, though. So he is going to have to play carefully with the rest of his team. And it looks as though uh, Picado currently is fully occupied by uh, Team Retired here as they try and finish up this looting phase uh, to the best of their ability here and they should be well stocked for the later stages. Blue Circle is 
uh, still coming in here. Uh, Cruz de Vail does have... Uh, oh, and it looks as though Fleoflux actually getting knocked down by his own team member uh, from one of the grenades here. So that's a bit unfortunate here as they are starting to push up here. And Andy BG able to get the double kill on Rain Zera and Fleoflux. So that's it for him. And uh, it looks as though that I'm Cold Blood also facing some problems here as uh, a fight is coming in. But he gets knocked down as well, leaving only... Uh, Zodiac left and uh, that is it. They managed to fully wipe them. They will be able to get the res off and they will be in full pos uh, good position here. Now, meanwhile, we do see that Allens is uh, uh, managed to chalk up a kill here as they did shoot at the rotation coming in from uh, Team Crayon. They did eliminate one of the players, but uh, Manpang was knocked down, but it should be okay. They should be able to get him up with no problem here. Now, meanwhile, we do see that the other teams are finishing their rotations here. They are trying to go for more central areas. There are There is a lot of space for these teams. So it's a little bit unfortunate at this stage if some of the teams get caught out in rotation. Now, oh, and it looks like um, KNY God might have been uh, AFK or disconnected here. So they had to eliminate him just to get his loot here. But, um, but hey, whatever. He's still helping the cause, right? So Geek Fam. Have shown that they are capable even with three players left at their disposal on the scrim city games i think um they did take home a chicken dinner in on saturday's games uh, with three players only as well so that was a good achievement from them and uh now we do see here that big blue bird and the rest of uh, team crayon is moving in here and uh they are still in the process of the rotation they did manage to get that loot crate so that will be a big benefit to them. And now the second circle has revealed itself. It is very much uh, capturing Monte Nuevo, El Pozo, Power Grid. Um, not a lot of teams here. There is Team Crayon in, with its employed who has done that scouting uh, early in this uh, stage of the game here. And uh, others are making their way over as well. Team 18, Team Retired is moving in. And uh, MSK Poseidon a little bit separated here. Voidless uh, maybe acting as the scout here. And uh, Gang FTY also is making their, their moves in here. Team number 12. Killer Clown is also making their way over from Alcantara while Geek Fam has decided to finally move here from the northern side. Squad number 7 is still very much up here, Team FFG, and uh, others are moving in. Um, now, it, Squad 14 also, after managing to come become uh, rather un unscathed, except for losing one player to drowning, the uh, Team Power Ranger, they will be moving up here. Of course, it does comprise of two members from Legendary Gaming as well, G7, as well as uh, 7 here. Now, they are going to take their time here. They don't want to... It looks as though that they prefer to play on the edge of the circle. Other teams uh, prefer to take up those central compounds and try to make it difficult for other teams to uh, move in here and also betting on uh, being inside the next circle. But, of course... This is just a circle number two. It is still tons of space here to be occupied here. It's just whether or not any of these teams actually will accidentally run into uh, each of the uh, each of the others here. As we do see here that uh, Six Gaming here able to spot the rotation coming out from Extents here. Now Extents Singaporean team on the screen. They are running a bit uh, further north here as uh, Kai takes a, a few hits there. Oh, and it looks as though a little bit of tragedy for. Uh, but Mama, as uh, they lose their player to the blue zone. Um, now, they are getting him up, and uh, it should be okay for them, but it looks as though that we have both FFG as well as Killer Clown rotating through the same uh, highways here, and uh, both of them not bothering to stop here to try and get uh, some frags, as we do see that they are moving on from this area here, not wanting to get too stuck up and keeping an eye on the bigger picture as well. Now, other other teams have all, all pretty much completed their rotation phase. B and Power, uh, the only team in El Pozo, they should be quite well stocked after that. Geek Fam all taking a position on the high ground on the crater here, and able to see uh, the team extents as well as Six Gaming. Now, others are making their way, and it looks as though that we have a long rotation all the way from Killer Clown. They are going all the way to the southern side. They actually might run into Power Ranger here, trying to outthink. Um, where other teams might be at the moment here. Now, the plane did go straight down here, so on the left side of the circle, in theory, should be uh, more open here. Now, Geek Fam is putting some fire at the rotation coming in from uh, Koyak Gaming. Koyak Gaming, uh, 
abandoning the vehicle here as they only had one available to them and not or sorry they had two available to them but they are taking some fire here as uh Jangs is uh putting a lot of pressure from the high ground here and uh it looks as though Marty able to also knock down uh x mark here and uh the other remaining two players are trying to get some distance here but Jangs able to get the snipe there he's putting more shots on the last player sham shooting um, and uh, Shamsuddin is moving uh, to try and get some better cover here. I'm not sure what he can do. He is uh, very precarious and it looks as though Mahdi is able to finish it. He chalks up uh, two kills in that exchange. Uh, or no, sorry, three kills in that exchange with Janks with one. So Geekfam showing even with three players left alive, they can still uh, tackle it with the best of them. And um, now we do see here that squad 12 does uh seem to notice the the presence from team power rangers as they are currently occupying the industrial complex at the uh, elevated ground at monte nuevo so they are deciding to bug out here so they have to just be careful that they don't take too many hits as they try and rotate out of this position they only have 40 plus seconds to actually get inside to the next zone here so um meanwhile we do see the other teams are rotating in here the, um the third circle has presented itself and I do apologize, guys, but PUBG is PUBG. And uh, we will be getting back into the game as soon as we can. So, um, yes, we will continue. And hopefully we get into the action. Now, since it is the third circle that revealed itself, all the teams will be thinking about rotations and getting trying to secure a compound as best as they can, which might be of more beneficial, or more beneficial, rather, for their cause. All right, guys, and we are back here. So um, apologies for that. And uh, now we are back here, and we do see that there are a lot of rotations coming in here. This time from Squad 17, um, which is uh, actually one of the teams. I'm not sure of what is the name yet. If you guys know who Squad 17 are, please do give um, a message in the comments. I will try and update the team list later on. Geek Fam also making things difficult for them, and the compound and the lower ground is actually currently occupied by Team Extent, so they're probably not going to move from this higher ground just yet here, but the rotation uh, from both FFG as well as um, Killer Clown, uh, Killer Clown being Squad 12 and FFG being Squad 7, now they, we did see them rotate from the northern side together, but they are currently uh, back together again it would seem here. Uh, a little bit of standoff as uh, Mama Chucky actually took a couple hits there, so he's probably going to have to just play a bit careful here. As the as the circle reduces, there will be less chances to get your utility or your armor back up to the levels that you need it to be. Now, BM Power opting to scale this uh, high ground here, but they do notice that there is presence from Squad 17. And they are trading blows here, but it looks as though Squad 17 on the receiving end... Uh, more likely than not, as they have taken a few hits, BN Power is continuing to move up the high ground as they try and take advantage of the situation. Now, there is a large cluster of teams in the northern side here. Now, we do see that uh, Power Rangers are starting to move away from Monte Nuevo. We do have Retire Gaming here taking fire from Power Grid, where currently MSK Poseidon is holed up. Uh, Team 15 only has uh, JC Nobody, who's left here after they fought with... Um, uh, MSK Poseidon in the early game and uh, didn't come out as the, the biggest of winners in that exchange and he's going to try and do his best to get the, as best of a placing as he can for his team. Now, there is a little bit of distance here between MSK Poseidon's and uh, well, Team Retired, even though it looks like it's half Team Resurgence. But yes, Next Circle has revealed itself and it's very much favoring Team Crayon and Gang FTY here as they manage to Guess correctly here. Um, now, Team Retired is still inside the circle here, so it's not too bad for for them. But they will be wanting to make sure that they have their territory. All the teams will be scrambling for spots here inside the circle as they try and make sure that they can hold up uh, a certain compound. There are not many compounds left here. Uh, as we do see that Team Crayon is putting a lot of fire onto Team Extent. Or, uh, and uh, it looks as though Krustek actually getting knocked down. So the, the four packs hero for them so far in this game uh, in a little bit of trouble. And it looks as though that he will be going out here. Now it looks as though Power Rangers also managing to land a, a knock onto uh, FFG. And Kai also going down here after Insane Floyd able to 
pick him off with, with his SLR there. Now, the smokes have come out here, but Krustik surely can't be saved by Ace all alone. He has to focus on Akai. So they will be looking at having, or rather, they will have one of their players going down here. And Allen's able to get a knock onto Ryan Rabu, who is currently on the high ground here. Currently west of uh, Power Grid. Now, the rest of FTY are all together here. They didn't have Manparang do any uh, scouting on his own just yet. So, he's currently in a decent position here. Now, we do see that Ace is uh, trying to fight off uh, Geek Fam now. As uh, they are moving down the high ground. With Jang's actually getting knocked out here. Mahdi and Xavier should be able to get him back up. But other teams are having trouble here. We see that Hunter's crew is also putting the hurt onto Mahdi as he is able to knock him down as well, leaving only Savior up alive as uh, Cold Blood was knocked down by uh, Mahdi himself. So a little bit of revenge there as uh, Six Gaming takes one loss early, but Geek Fam against the ropes here. And they do also have a lot of teams close to them as Extens squad number two is just across the road with uh, Crayon, Team Crayon just in the compound to their south. So other teams have moved in. Uh, BN Power is already taking uh, northwestern edge here as they got that little bit of compound still available to them. Uh, squad number 20, uh, Lepak Mamak is currently doing their thing in the southern part of the circle. They do spot JC Nobody here. Now, rotations are coming in here as uh, it looks as though Geek Fam have managed to get all their players up here, but Savior goes down again to Hunter's Crew. So Hunter's Crew really going to work with his uh, sniping in this game here with uh, numerous headshots going off here. So he chalks up uh, oh, he gets his kill stolen um, by uh, Team Crayon here. Now, it looks as though that MSK Poseidon gets the final kills on uh, Team Quacker, and they go down in 14th position here. Now, these uh, three members are moving along uh, just north of the position from Team Retired, so they have to be careful. They knew that they were there they, as they were uh, taking fire quite early in the game, and Insane Floyd uh, able to get another knock on Mahdi. He just can't seem to get a break as everyone from all angles is uh, continuing to shoot at him. So they have decided to move inside the shack here for a little bit more hard cover. Um, it's not it's not going to be ideal, but when it gets this congested in these later stages here, as we are past the 20 minute mark, and this is, as you can see, when the player count starts to plummet, as we do see BN Power duking it out with Squad 17. And um, currently it's still a four on four battle here and Karkasm able to get the uh, nice headshot there now is whether or not they want to force the issue here they know they have to keep an eye on the bigger picture now generally in competitive pubg you don't make a move unless you really have to until the next circle has revealed itself but geek fam in a lot of trouble here jang's going down this time they seem to be taking turns here they should probably try and get inside the hut here if they can uh they might be under a little bit too much fire to be able to do that but uh it seems as though bn power Showing what Brunei is made of here as they move in here. And Bumpy J able to get a monster kill as he gets um, a bunch of players there. All with his M249. So uh, looking pretty good for him. But they did lose Carcassum in that exchange here. Now the next circle is quite central here. But favoring uh, Gang FTY. Very central in the circle. No one has really tried to contest their position just yet here. As well as Team Crayon squad number 10. Now, we do see that uh, one Krasenia has actually gone down here as he takes shots from uh, Team Retired who is still here on the higher ground here. So they are reigniting their, their rivalry that they had when the power grid was still being occupied by MSK Poseidon. Now, they actually have to start moving here. So they are starting to deploy their smokes as they want to try and move uh, as early as possible. Rotation coming down from FFG as they try and come around the backside here and... Uh, Geek Fam fighting for their lives here as they do spot the two players from uh, Six Gaming here advancing, uh, but left the only two players now as uh, only Hunter's crew and A6 are left alive here. And uh, others are moving inside. FFG deciding to go all the way to the southern part of the circle here, but they're going right into uh, Squad 20, left by Mama here. And uh, that is it for K as he blows up into a ball of flames here. Don't she and Raid 95 are moving as fast as they can, but they've got nowhere to go. They're just going to run into other players here as other players are coming in here and slowly get the attention from Power Ranger as Rix is able to knock him down, leaving only one player left up for them. And uh, the smokes are coming out here as BN Power also gets in on the action here as uh, Bumpy J is advancing. He's using the M249 to the best of his ability. Knocks down the uh, G7 here, and uh, that just like that, we do see the elimination from Power Rangers as they go out here in 10th position. Now, Allen's also getting 
in on the action by uh, Gang FTY as they try to gatekeep all these other teams as they try and move in here. So uh, one of the players down only. Bumpy J is left up on this side for uh, BN Power. Raid is... Ray95 is just gonna hang out in that shack, you know. He doesn't want a part of this fight here. As we do see Squad 20, Lepak Mamak is starting to move in. Uh, they are already inside the circle, so not too much of an issue from them. And Jangs goes down here. Um, so leaving only Modi left up here. But he should be able to get the res off. It's just that they are outside the circle here. And for sure, this is gonna be the end for Geekfam as they run into a hail of bullets coming in from uh, Team Crayon. And Team Crayon gets the final eliminations there, but it looks as though Bumpy J also goes down here as uh, we do get Allens using his sniping ability to steal the deal in that instance here. Geekfam going out in 7th position. So next circle is going to reveal itself and it looks as though Gang FTY is the winner in this in this one. They do have the ability to try and push out all these other teams. They do have a lot of natural cover on that uh, elevated position, but they do face a lot of problems. Potentially, oh, and Allen's coming out with a monster nade here as he throws a long one. Kobe! So yeah, it's looking pretty good for Gang FTY as they manage to put a lot of pressure onto Lepak Mamak. Lepak Mamak just trying to deploy whatever smokes that they have available. Now, Allen's is moving in to try and finish what he can here, but there is a lot of smoke here. But Sniper is a little bit exposed here as he runs out to the backside here and he gets shot up by Allen. So, uh, we do see here that... Team Crayon is starting to move around. Uh, Mamparang is aware of the presence here as uh, M0 also moves around here. Dankert also taking some fire as uh, it looks as though that Team Retired is fully moving on Gang FTY's position. MSK Poseidon a bit north of them. Uh, he is trying to move in and it uh, looks as though that Sniper will expire here after he was not able to be res by his teammates. Now we do see that uh, Team Retired is trying to also use as much of the cover as possible. M0 just trying to clean up here while the Team Crayon is actually advancing on Gang FTY position and MSK Poseidon opting to actually take their time to get inside the circle here. Now Big Blue Bird is uh, posturing up a little bit here. They are trying to find the gang FTY boys now. They spot Dankirk here who um, live action is trying to hold his fire here as he waits for the rest of his squad to actually be in range to shoot and Big Blue Bird is able to seal the deal onto Dankirk but it looks as though that it's going to be a three-way fight here as uh, we have Brian Rabu stealing the kill from Team Crayon and he gets Dankirk out for the count here. Manparang in very close proximity to um, the rest of Team Crayon. Now he's trying to run away. Now he could potentially get shot in the back here and he gets knocked down by Big Blue Blurred. Big Blue Bird, sorry. And uh, Allen's trying to use it, that AWM. I'm not sure who he got it off or whether or not he found it early, in the early stage here. Now um, Vine is down for a team retired. Only M0 and Allen's is up for Gang FTY, but uh, it looks as though Insane Floyd tried to come all the way around here. Now, he is sandwiched right between Team Retired as well as MSK Poseidon. MSK Poseidon down to two players, not in the best of uh, shape here, but they are letting these teams go at it. While uh, Team Retired looks to take a little break here as they want to try and get Vine up. Um, but it does look like live action and Big Blue Bird will be trying to press the issues. It looks as though Team Crayon already has eight kills. To their name but they are facing up against a squad of four here i'm not sure that they know what's up here big blue bird is going to get shot in the back by uh msk poseidon here as they come over the hill here now live action doing some good here knocking down two of the players but that is going to be it as uh they manage to get the final kills here and uh, gang fty is the spectator now as two of the players are down for team retired here now I'm not sure whether or not the two players for uh, MSK Poseidon are going to press the issue here as uh, Brax is still down and they have a good opportunity. It's just whether they have nades as well to throw inside the smokes and try and prevent uh, any further um, resing going on here. But they do manage to get four players up alive. So uh, if they can maintain their four players up, it looks as though that it will be good for... Um, team retired here, but they are outside the circle, but they do have 35 seconds uh, to get in. M0 trying to do what he can for Gang FTY as they have chalked up 10 kills to their name here, but they have spread the field here to give themselves as much of a crossfire as possible here as Crescenia gets a hit from the, the AWM here. He gets another bullet from the AKM, but it's not enough to bring him down. Now it looks as though that team retired going to try and do some backstabbing again here as uh, they start to move on the remaining teams here, uh, Kimberly trying to get Crescenia down, uh, 
but now it, MSK Poseidon is in tough position here. They only have one player left up here, and uh, the flank is coming in from Gang FTY here as they try and uh, turn the, the fight in their favor. Voidless is a sliver of health, and he actually knocks down one of the players from uh, uh, Team Retired, and leaving a two on two battle here between Gang FTY and uh, Team Retired here. So, Kimbri also taking a lot of damage, only two players left. Or one player left up for uh, Team Retired. He's trying to go around there, but Allens is still up here, and uh, Ryan will be uh, res here. And he and they are trying. Vine is trying to get him up as well, but he is moving along the side here. Allens able to get the flank and uh, leaving only Vine up here. He's going to try and res. Uh, there's Brax here, but uh, Brax going down immediately as M0 will come in for this one-on-one -on -one here. And uh, he is up against Vine here, and Vine does have the terrain here, but uh, M0 has the time to heal a little bit here. Uh, just to try and get through this fight as best he can. Vine trying to throw the nade here as uh, he tries to uh, get a lucky frag here, but uh, Vine... Is, uh, looks as though that he's in the driver's seat. He is inside the zone. He will be able to prevent M0 from moving in, but he takes a break just to take a uh, drink at the moment. And uh, now they are just posturing a little bit here. And the nade comes straight towards him, taking some damage here as he runs around the side. And that is it. M0 coming up with the clutch play there for Gang FTY. As Gang FTY able to come, across, come in at the right time there while... Um, MSK Poseidon was facing off against Team Retired and Gang FTY, the winners from IGN Community uh, event also last Saturday, uh, comes out with the chicken dinner for round two of tonight's games. So, Allen's really coming up strong with seven kills to his name and M0, five kills as well, able to really clutch it out in that one-on-one -on -one situation. So, uh, congratulations to Gang FTY and in second place, we do have um, Team Retired here. Now, they did manage to take a lot of good fights there uh, and taking a lot of ambushes, but they faced a little bit too much in the way of problems as they were fighting together with uh, MSK Poseidon and uh, they were ambushed somewhat by Gang FTY towards the end there, but they did have a chance to win it, but unfortunately not able to come out with it against that one-on-one -on -one situation. And in third place, we have MSK Poseidon. They managed to really make those two players that they had for most of the late game there uh, go the distance here. But unfortunately, they weren't able to come out with it, but they did manage to get a very good placement here as they took uh, third place. And uh, in fourth, we have uh, Team Crayon. They were looking very good in that compound, but I think they got a little bit too stretched as they uh, started to um, go in, in between the teams here. I think uh, we saw St. Floyd between MSK Poseidon as well as Team Retired at one point here, and they lost a few of their players. So unfortunately, or rather, uh, fortune, well, good for them still. They, they did manage to secure that fourth position here. And uh, we do have also um, all the results here for you. So... Um, yeah, that is it for round number two, guys. So uh, thanks very much for, for watching the play of the J as well as the Battle Arena scrim for tonight. So um, do stay tuned. We'll be taking a short break. Um, we'll be back for round three very soon.